Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. My name is Rachel Fowler and I am the owner and creator of Soul Essentials All Natural Aromatherapy product line. Uh, today I wanted to discuss with you blending. Uh, so I had the wonderful opportunity to share my products uh, this past week for wholesale and I just absolutely love connecting with people in person. It's such a passion for me to share what I do and I thought I'd share it on my YouTube channel. Um, and so today I wanted to discuss with you um, why I do what I do. I think it's so important that um, we understand people's focus, you know. And um, a couple weeks ago, I had a client ask me about a specific blend. Um, they were wondering if I had something like it. And um, of course, I'm always fascinated by, um, you know, different um, products and things like that and uh, different blends and of course anything with essential oils in them and have so much respect for anybody that's, you know, putting out wellness and wants um, to help others. And uh, this blend is from a, a particularly large company who has a lot of distributors and um, and so I don't reference a lot of other blends and in fact don't really reference people's blends, other people's or companies' blends at all when I'm blending. I think if you're doing something that you love, it really should come from deep within you. I think that um, it's so important for you to be able to express yourself uh, through what you do and if you're looking outward, you know, I think you can kind of lose focus and so um, anyway, uh, I actually uh, went to find out what this blend had in it and um, it had a, just a lot of really beautiful essential oils and it's very curious about it. Um, I have to say after really looking at the blend um, and thinking about um, the chemistry of it, it did confuse me a bit and so um, I, you know, of course looked at my product line and thought, you know, I probably have something comparable, but there was quite a bit of essential oils in it. Um, so interestingly, so I'm at this wellness clinic and presenting my products and talking about why I blend and things like that. and. Uh, they had this particular blend there and um, I was able to smell it and uh, I thought that was so wonderful because I really was curious about um, what it smelled like and so I have to tell you that as much as it confused me looking at the blend you know um, uh, and the ingredients um, the smell also confused me and I believe it's because there were too many essential oils in there crowding it um, I think it's really important when you're um, working with aromatic plants that you understand their pla uh, botanical classification. Um, each uh, plant has a range and it can be either a top note, um, which are citruses oftentimes. They are the very first thing that you smell in a blend. Um, and they will um, actually break down the quickest and so oftentimes you will need a, a greater amount and those will be like your lemon and grapefruit. Um, they're not very stable. Um, they naturally have alcohol in them and they break down very quickly, okay? And then you'll have your middle notes which are like your florals and uh, lavenders, marjoram, um, geranium and things like that. And those are have a nice lasting um, quality. Oftentimes those middle notes uh, um, hold uh, your blends together. Um, and then your base notes, um, which are like your patchoulis and ginger and sandalwoods, um, you won't have as quite a bit of those, but those will be like your lasting kind of finish to your blends. And so um, it's really important that you take in part that each blend, uh, excuse me, each essential oil has a therapeutic range uh, that has uh, notes all in itself, inclusive in itself, okay? So say like lavender. Um, lavender has an analgesic action. Uh, it's antispasmodic. It's antidepressant. Uh, it's a sedative. And all of those therapeutic actions hold a scent in them, okay? So when you uh, smell an antidepressant, it actually has that one component constituent in there has a scent all its own. So there's a lot of notes within just one plant, okay? And because they evaporate, they have this evaporation rate, 
uh, different notes come out at different times of a plant, okay? Um, and so when you're blending, if you put too many essential oils in a blend, you can crowd your blend. And so the way that I blend is to give each essential oil its space to breathe. Um, I blend very simply, and so I do have a couple more complex blends, but I'm really careful because I think it's really important for you to uh, have a familiarity with what um, it is you're smelling. I find um, sometimes products out there um, can seem like really exotic, like you know they're trying to add all of these really wonderful notes to a blend, um, and that's really you know great for perfumery. Um, but when you're blending for therapy, I think it's really important that you understand that each plant has its own ability and therapeutic range all to itself and that we need to respect that, you know, that um, uh, it has, um, you know, such a, a, an opportunity to help just with one in itself and then you can strengthen its ability, but, but that you can build a relationship and identify with it, I think is really important for me. Um, and so I was able to smell several different blends of this company and I, I have to say I I was kind of confused by all of them and you know maybe it's because of the simplicity maybe because in blending I do understand all of the therapeutic notes um, interestingly um, blending again um, and talking about my product line and sharing with people um, I often hear like oh well I use this company and I use this company and I just think that's so wonderful that people are branching out and using essential oils but I want to encourage you please do not limit uh, what type of essential oils that you'll use or using um, it's like eating you know you don't eat just one type of food you don't just eat Mexican food wellness is about variety and it is so important that you um, branch out everybody has their own take and so you know like chocolate you know I don't just eat one type of chocolate if you put a truffle in front of me I will eat it um, I think if you like essential oils, stay open to different companies and trying different things because you don't want to miss out just because you're you're um, familiar with a certain line. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. I think um, just when you're blending, um, make sure that you know not to crowd. I think it's really important that you're giving each essential oil their its space um, and its own freedom because as it um, blends with other plants, um, there's other notes to a plant that come out like uh, Roman chamomile for instance um, has a very fruity quality to it an apple like quality to it and to me it smells like um, the plant it smells uh, smells like bubblegum to me um, and it wants to kind of dominate a blend it's almost like smell me first smell me first and so when you blend that plant, um, you have to take that in consideration that you have to balance the other essential oils with it because if not, it will take over, you know? And so um, you want to give each plant its space and, 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 um, and ability to bring out and to blend well. Um, too many ingredients, I think, just confuses, confuses everything, confuses the therapy and confuses your nose. Um, so yeah, and, and then how they work together. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I thought I'd share with that with you. And thanks so much for listening. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please visit my website at soulessentials.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.